content warning. This video deals with sexual assault. I haven't scripted it, but the word sexual assault, there, I have notes in front of me. And the word sexual assault comes up quite a bit. So, be forewarned. This may be a video that you want to skip. So, there's a YouTuber named Mags. His real name is Magnus Heesven. He's one of the largest Fire Emblem YouTubers out there. And recently, there have been several accounts that have come forward in regards to manipulated behavior that he has engaged in, including sexual assault per Gusaphone, one of the accounts that has come forward. It's a very detailed account with explicit details that I'm not going to repeat here. I highly recommend that you read what they have to say and support them and read what Amy has to say and support them, and read what Mina has to say and support them. Mangs also confirmed the event happened in his non-apology. I'm not going to call it an apology because it's not. It's just him gaslighting and trying to downplay his actions. Additionally, his ex-graphics designer has provided screenshots where he confessed the whole thing. He confessed his intentions to her. Oh, and he also hasn't responded to any of the other accounts that have brought up him blackmailing or pressuring women into providing nudes, including soliciting nudes from a minor or other coercive or possessed behavior that these victims have come forward with. And all of this comes during a week where the Smash Brothers community has seen a slew of sexual assault allegations coming forth involving the likes of Zero, among many others, Sky Williams, and I've been really conflicted about making this video all day. This is a very serious subject. I'm currently recording this at midnight, but I am going to include links to anyone else who comes forward in the future in the description. I'll fully admit that I wasn't the most informed on Nagn's behavior prior to this, mostly because the one time I did try to watch one of his videos a couple of years ago, I stopped doing so the moment that they dropped the R word, tend to tune out most YouTubers who I don't watch, but it wasn't exactly difficult to find a trail of evidence. He's made a lot of racist and homophobic comments that I'm not going to repeat here, and a lot more evidence of his terrible behavior has come forward. A mod of one of his communities has screenshots where he talks about the potential of a 13-year-old girl. He's also linked people to a video of a literal fascist. He has a history of objectifying women and reducing them to a body instead of a human being that has their own thoughts and wants and agency. He has been reducing them to be things, to be possessed. One thing that has been bugging me about this is that I've seen a lot of people simply shrugging this off and going, well, he's always been a creep, as if that somehow makes any of this okay or any less shocking. In fact, I'd say that this makes the community as a whole, the Fire Emblem community, look far worse than it did before. It's one thing to not be shocked, it's another thing to be dismissive. If we agree that this behavior was and has been unacceptable for years, which it has, why exactly were they allowed to become as prominent as they were instead of being condemned, instead of people shunning them for being the far-right, manipulative womanizer that they are? Why did other figures in the community like Mecca find it acceptable to collaborate on multiple occasions and promote them on multiple occasions, instead of calling them out for using the N-word, the R-word, or any of the other slurs that they've used, or constantly objectifying women characters in the game or women in real life? And while I'm laying into Mecca, what is this garbage about? Everyone has a right to defend themselves in this state. Like, Mags is not the victim. He is not the person that was sexually assaulted or manipulated, coerced into showing off their body for his pleasure. Mags didn't just spring up overnight as some large YouTuber with 90,000 subscribers. He became that after several years. He built himself up on a platform involving racism sexism, homophobia, and he used that platform to prey on women, including girls. What Mags has said in the past was never okay. Let's be f***ing crystal clear about that. And it should never have been treated as acceptable.
like we should be using this moment right now to reflect on the community as a whole and what we find to be acceptable and not acceptable because and this is anecdotal this isn't empirical i don't have anything to support this beyond my own experience there has been a lot more sexism within the community there has been a lot more posts that have been objectifying a lot of the women characters or people within the community who have identified as women their comments objectifying women have certainly contributed to a normalization of this sort of objectification for women and that is the exact sort of behavior that i will always call out in my own videos the fact that the warning signs were always there through his lecturous or racist comments is itself a byproduct of a larger issue within the firing community and a culture where victims of sexual assault have to worry that breaking their silence about what happens to them is going to lead to consequences for them and not the person that committed said unconscionable action against them. Max thought he could get away with this, in part because he's already gotten away with a lot, and that fucking disgusts me. In fact, Goose, according to Gast, she's been worried that people would retaliate or not believe her for coming forward with her story. That's just heartbreaking. Which, just so we're clear, this is not to downplay what I have is no doubt a difficult time for Mina, Tome Fared, Insane Noir, The Artful Weeb, Leah Liar, or any other victims that have or will come forward. They have already gone through enough. They don't need assholes telling them that they don't believe their story. And they deserve your support and, and that's the main reason why even though i've been conflicted about making this video because i've always been of the mind that when it comes to sexual assault i am not qualified to discuss it beyond condemnation of whoever has committed it the best thing that can be done is to amplify the voices that need to be amplified the victims and their story but i do acknowledge that i do have a platform and i do make a lot of fire and content and i'm not going to be silent i'm not going to be complicit i'm not going to just throw up a tweet and call it a day because this isn't just something that goes away today it has to be a conscious effort because this should not have been okay back then it's not okay today and it will not be okay tomorrow. I'm drawing a line in the sand because I want to make it very clear. This is not acceptable in the Fire Emblem community. It's not okay in the Smash Brothers community. It's not okay in any community or any society. And if you have a problem with me talking about this or you're worried that Mangs is going to be canceled instead of the victims, the people that he has coerced, manipulated, sexual assaulted among all the other disgusting and heinous acts that he has done, you can fuck right off. I have zero leeway when it comes to sexual assault and people being wishy-washy on responses and going, oh, they should be given the benefit of the... No. It doesn't matter whether it's Chase Face, it doesn't matter whether it's Mangs or Zero or anyone else. My thoughts right now are with all the victims that have come forward into this, and to those that have come forward and will come forward, I, uh, I just want to say that you are brave for coming forward in regard to this. You are right to feel upset because this wasn't okay. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. It is. You are loved, and don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Your voices deserve to be heard, and they should continue to be heard and amplified as loud as possible. And that's all I have to say.